Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would film an updated office tour for my sticker shop. I run a business called Planner Face and I predominantly sell planner stickers and planner sticker albums. It's been about a year and a half since my last office tour and a lot has changed, so I thought I would give you an update. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So as we come in the room, we have my cutting desk. This is where I do all my printing and cutting for the stickers. So I've got my computer. This was like a custom built one that Tom made. So I don't really know what the parts are. I could find out if you're really that interested, but it is a Windows computer. Um, and then I just have my keyboard and a mouse. This is the Logitech MX Master Mouse. So I have my printers along the top. And then these, um, shelves are by closet made i think but they are actually quite difficult to get in the uk but i will link them if i can um and then i've got the silhouette portraits this is the original portrait um i don't really get on with the portrait too so i've got seven in use and i have like five or six spares i think because i really don't want to upgrade to the portrait too um so yeah i'm just trying to put off the inevitable the cutting mats I use are the kneecapper ones, I think that's how you say it. These are the silhouette ones, and then I have, these are Cricut ones right now, but they do do um, like a Cricut version of the kneecapper. So yeah, I would recommend those over buying the like actual silhouette or Cricut mats because they're just a bit cheaper and exactly the same. I have this little rose gold uh, paper holder just to put any sheets that I need to cut. So these sheets would go in there ready for cutting. I've got one messy USB hub and two messy USB hubs. <laughs> um, and this is my camera charger and batteries. And then I also have some extra mats that are like, I think, are worn out but I don't want to bin them just in case <laughs> so I've got those there as well underneath the desk we have a big Alex drawers and I'm not entirely sure what's in here that is oops doodles this one is premium matte paper removable matte paper oops stickers and loads of cables I also have a lot of this CNC grid stuff just around the office because my rabbits do come in here so it's like just bunny proofing. Back under this desk I have a wide Alex drawers on wheels so when I cut I have it like this and it basically functions as like a second desk so I can put stuff on here, I put my laptop on here, it's just really convenient. And then in the drawers the top one has spare envelopes. This one is scrap labels and random envelopes I don't really use anymore. This one has laminate. This one is just like extra album stickers that are not Oops, so just like leftover ones. This one is Oops album stickers and Oops albums, and as you can see, it's a bit full. <laughs> and then this one is miscellaneous paper, labels and cellos, apparently. But the only thing I really remember is this is where I throw like swaps freebies when I receive them, just so I can keep them like in one place ready for when I need them. So that just pushes back in. And then finally for this little area of the room, I have a stool because I'm too short and I can't put printer back in the printers without a stool because <laughs> it's too high up. And then I have my scrap paper bin as well, just the yellow one full of paper scraps. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to say, on the PC like tower itself, I just keep our like broadband hub thing and my spare blades, but these are blades that are worn out. So I will then, when I've got loads of worn out blades like now, I'll change my machine settings to cut deeper so I can reuse the old blades. So I just keep them so I don't have to bin them straight away. I can use them like a second time. So then the next kind of area of the room is my album storage. So this is where I keep my stock. I've got one two by four Kallax. And then I believe this is like before Ikea had a Kallax, they had a different item and it's like the same dimensions inside the box, but it's a different thing. I don't know what it's called though, but I did get both of these secondhand. So I didn't know this one wasn't a Kallax, but honestly like, it works completely fine. So I've got my reusable albums just in boxes in the first cubby and then also in the second one with a few mini albums as well. So this is just like the best storage I could find for those. I did used to have them in these, but because of the coil, they don't really stack nicely. So I couldn't fit that many per shelf. So then in this first column, I've got all my large albums and I tend to just double these up so that they don't take up as much room and I can store two to a shelf. Or like this top one is just like, if I have one or two of a certain design, I'll just shove them in here rather than taking up like 
an actual shelf. Then I've got my small albums in the next column and these just fit two to a shelf as well so that's really handy. The next one I've got my oops bags and grab bags and I have them labelled on the side so this is the sticker that is actually on the bag. So it just makes it really easy for me to see which item I need to pull for the order. I've got a few extra small albums here and then some A4 pads. This is the A4 monthly pad and I've just got them there. A few more small albums and then some space which is exciting. I don't normally have room but I have recently reorganised this. And then just on top of the small one I have this like Ikea document sort of thing and it's just got loads of cello bags of varying sizes. I hope you can see because I can't. <laughs> this is way too tall for me. <laughs> Um, and just random stuff like that, like I think there's some envelopes there as well. And then in the bottom boxes, this one has Oops reusable albums and I think a spare silhouette, yeah. Spare silhouette, Oops albums. I think this one is just, yeah, this is like spare silhouettes as well. And then this one is just like some random storage for me that's like not shop related. On top of the wide Kallax, I just have a box that shouldn't really be there for my new camera lens. And then a Yeti microphone that I use for voiceovers sometimes. To the side of the small Kallax, I have a big tripod that I don't use very often, but occasionally it's useful. And I have one of those big signs that like rolls out for events and it just has my shop logo on it and my information. But we haven't been to an event since I bought it. So that just sits there. So next we have this desk which is like where I sit and design and like do admin work and stuff. So this is like where I spend most of my time if I'm not like doing other tasks. So I have an Alex drawers but honestly like it's such a mess. I'm not going to show you what's in there but it's just like miscellaneous office stuff um, and like my laminator and stuff like that. On my desk I have an extra monitor so that I can like work on two screens at once. I've got my camera tripod. I think this is from Joby and then I have a like universal clamp thing on it as well so that I can swap it between my two tripods really easily. I've got my inhaler. <laughs> um, this is a wax burner and I don't know where this is from because I did steal it from my mum. So behind it in the corner I've just got my external hard drive so that it can do backups. I've got my Dymo label printer and then I've got a little basket of wax melts that didn't fit in my other wax melt storage um, and then a little pot of miscellaneous things like scrunchies and stuff. I've got a wireless charger, which is really slow and I never use. Uh, my MacBook Pro, obviously, that I design on and do all my work on. I've got this little pen pot from Ikea that's really useful with like white out in, um, a nail file, just random pens and some scissors and stuff. I've got my drink, <laughs> a lip balm. This little storage box thing for my albums that was from Next Home and I think it's actually like a fruit bowl um, kitchen organiser thing, like I think it's for fruit. But um, I really liked it for the albums and it came with another one of these baskets that I do actually have in the kitchen. <laughs> um, I've got this um, like cutting mat thing. This is just from Amazon and it's an A3 one. I have my Lights Planner Action Planner with some stickers. And then I've got this rose gold, like I think it's like a recipe book thing. Um, with my Chelsea Paper Co planner on it, which is like my everyday scribbly planner. On these shelves I've got my large albums with like my kits in. I've got a little plant. Um, some tilt bins with wax melts in, so I've got all my individual ones in here, and then these ones are like in packets, um, a little pusheen, <laughs> I've got a neon pink light, which I probably should have turned on, um, a candle, my prime lens, and then my washi drawer storage, and I've also got two acrylic drawers with like notepads and this one is mainly post-it notes. And then the top shelf I've just got some music books, a few spare TN covers, a drumstick, and then this is like crafting stuff that I literally never use. <laughs> on the side of the Kallax, like in reach of this desk, I have um, some cleaning stuff, some random paper things that I don't think are to do with the office, um, a sun cream and a glasses cleaner, but I do use this for cleaning like my screens and stuff. And then I use this for removing um, Sharpie off my dividers that I'll show you in a minute. So just between this desk and my blue shelves, I've got a like collapsible light box. This is huge. It's from Amazon. It's actually really good. Um, and then a spare desk just in case I need to like pop one out and have like more surfaces. I have this big blue shelving unit and it's hard to get it all in frame, but I just have so much storage on here. Um, loads of boxes. This is like tax stuff related to accounting. This is some photography things like backdrops and random props, I think. 
I've got my Samsung laser printer here, I've got the rabbit's food, and then these four bins have cello bags, cello bags, tape, and then photography props. I've also got a little guillotine just hiding there. I've got A4 paper for invoices, this is stuff I need to de-stash. This is laser printer toner. I've got some A5 notepads just in there, with some A4 paper, um, rabbit stuff, and then that is postcards, I think? Yeah, postcards in that one. I've got my grey bags from Royal Mail here that I used to prepare my mail. A random box of hay for the rabbits, and then stuff down here is, you can see there's reusable albums in this one, and these two I think are empty, which is great because we love more room. I've just got Brian, my office plant. This is my Monstera, and he is surviving and thriving, I think. He's, he's a little bit a little bit damaged here, but this was from when he was upstairs, so I think he's much happier downstairs. And look, we have a new leaf. What a good plant. So this is the rabbit's enclosure. This looks quite a lot different to the last office tour when they were in like a cage still. Um, they were in the biggest cage I could find, but I really did just want a big enclosure for them. So this is from Manor Pet Housing, and it was not the cheapest, but it is so good. It's really easy to get in there and clean it because you literally just walk through the door. And then we have carrot bunting along the top. This is just from Etsy. So I'm just having to refilm this portion because I lost the clip. So this is like a different day, but I'm just gonna film the part that I lost from the original footage. So this is my packing desk. This is where I stand and do most of my packing. It's just an Ikea desk on like standing legs. So it adjusts and I have it set to a height that is good for me to stand at. All the desks in here are from Ikea. Um, if there's anything I forgot to mention, just let me know in the comments and I'll find the product for you. So underneath I have these metal drawers and these store most of my packaging supplies. I actually built this one and this one on my first studio vlog, so go and check that out if you want to see me putting them together. So in the first drawer I've just got some cardboard boxes, they come flat and then you assemble them for shipping, so I just keep them in here. I've got some blank albums here ready for assembly. This one is empty, and then I've just got some premium matte paper in here and uh, invoice paper at the back. In the second narrow one, I've got my water activated tape, some mini albums, some spare silhouette blades, and then I've got my Dymo labels here. On top, I've just got some more A5 um, invoice paper. So this one in the corner just has more spare packaging material that I don't reach for too often because it's a little bit out of the way, but it's just handy to have it here. So starting on the top, I've got my pen part with like pencils and normally has like scissors and sharpies and stuff in there. In this box, I've got some postcards, a mug that has a stapler in it because I need to use this when I print my Royal Mail manifest. I staple them together with this multiple sheets. I have this A4 acrylic organizer and on the top, I keep my current order postcards and also this sheet for orders placed on Etsy to let the buyer know that there is a website. I've got my PR freebies in this little tiered acrylic stand and also my normal order freebies. So this one is November. I have this small box of really tiny planner face cards that I don't use anymore um, but I'm just keeping them here because I want to try and find a use for them. In the acrylic drawers the first one has my normal like half sheet size cello bags and then some a6 sized ones for smaller like quarter sheet orders. I keep my one page Wednesday kits in the second one because they sort of come in and out of the shop so quickly. They're only available for 24 hours each Wednesday so I just keep them here rather than giving them a proper place um, like the full kits have. And then in here I just have my sheets for labelling packages with the buyer's name. So next to that I have a taller stack of smaller acrylic drawers and these just have sort of miscellaneous extra sheets. So this one is old one page Wednesday kits, this one is retired glitter add-on sheets, this one is premium matte grab bags I think, this one is premium matte oops potentially they're not labelled correctly which is an issue. <laughs> this one is um, oops magnets and add-on sheets. This one is premium matte add-on sheets. No, this is normal add-on sheets. I don't know why they're separated. This one is premium matte add-on sheets. This one is empty. And this one is uh, more premium matte, but I don't know if it's oops or grab bags. Next to that, I've got my office plant. This is a ZZ and I have a tape dispenser. And another tape dispenser, so this one is like packaging tape and this one is sellotape. Coming around to this unit, this is like my packaging supplies that I can grab really easily. So I just have like a selection of my most used envelopes. I've got these whiteboard mailers and I use these for the majority of my sticker orders. 
I've got these brown board mailers which are just slightly bigger so they can accommodate a thicker order. I use these recyclable um, kind of padded mailers for albums um, and then I use these ones for big albums, the large ones. I do also keep my sponge and a little trinket dish that I put water in so that I can use the water activated tape. On the side of this little, I don't know what to call this, like unit thing, I have another one of these uh, metal drawers that I just glued on like I did with the one by my other desk. And this one stores all of the tags for presenting my mail to Royal Mail. I have to separate my mail into international and UK and then label it according to size, so that's what those are for. I also keep a roll of my Planner Face uh, branding stickers on here as well. And I think this is a headphone stand that you could put on like the side of a desk, um, but it just fits this roll perfectly. And then this. This is a laundry sorter, but I use it to sort my mail because I have to keep it separated into country and also like the size of the package. So it's just really handy to have something that's got um, like separators. So I just take this out every time I do a mail. And then the final area of the office is where I store all my stickers. So I have this Alex desk from Ikea and I'll go underneath the desk first because it's kind of chaos. Firstly, I've got two printers that I need to return because they're broken, but at the minute the shop's closed, so I've just been keeping them there. Um, this is a Christmas tree storage box, but I just have loads of envelopes inside it. And then in these boxes, I've got like packaging materials that I've received that I'm recycling so I can send out with my packages. So bubble wrap, um, this like scrunchy paper that they give you in Amazon parcels. And I do have a big roll of that paper, but I try and use the one I received before I use this one. This is just another box of uh, mailers, and then I've got some grey board for reinforcing the large mailers, and then a random storage box. In this drawer I keep ink and silhouette blades, and then this drawer is like miscellaneous business stuff. I've got like things for like accounting and stuff in there. So for the sticker storage, these boxes are from Wham. So I've got this small size for my quarter sheets and then a larger size for the half sheets. So this box is multicolour stuff and then I've got four boxes full of kit uh, collections. So how I have them organised, I've got the name of the collection written in Sharpie so I can take this off with nail varnish remover and reuse the divider. Um, I've got the mini kit and then I have just a piece of card and then I've got the full kit so that helps me keep them organized. These two bins are doodles and then this one is quarter sheets and quarter sheets back here and then a few more extra doodles because there's too many. I've got these tilt bins from Deflecto and I also showed these in the vlog but I've got my magnets in two of them and then this one does have post-it notes but I just put those bags in there for now because they don't fit in my um, grab bag storage, but they will eventually be going there. Finally, this random extra box is, this is a curver box and I made the dividers a little bit differently for my monthly kits just because it would be like easier to tell them apart. So I've got a set of dividers for the uh, two different monthly kits and the notes kit for each month and I just rotate through them when I need the next month's dividers. So when I need the... Uh, February will be next, I'll just take it from the back and put it to the front. So these dividers I made using tuck tabs, these are from a shop called My Pretty Week that's now closed, but I'm sure if you search on Etsy for tuck tabs you could find some really similar, or make them yourself if you've got a silhouette, and I just stick them onto card and laminate around it and trim. And if you're wondering how I make these dividers, I showed you in my studio vlog so I'll link that as well. So that's my office. I really hope you enjoyed the office tour and maybe it's given you some inspiration for your own office. I know when I was thinking about how to improve mine, I watched so many of these videos to get inspiration. And if you did enjoy the video and like sticker shop related content, please consider subscribing to my channel. I do do studio vlogs every week. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!